Hey guys, it's Monica. I thought I would jump in here and kind of give you a sort of quick update on some of the products that I've been using and some new products that were sent to me. So let me start by saying that I was, I, this was gifted to me from Lancome and I got this, I don't know, maybe two, three months ago and I did a beautiful, in my opinion, well, a beautiful review on this product because I say beautiful because I really like this perfume and I know it's very much of an individual type thing but Jay really loved it too and so when I had requested this I was thrilled to get the opportunity and I've worn it like almost every single day a little goes a long way since I received it La Vie Est a Belle La Vie La Vie Est a Belle La Vie Est a Belle anyways I can't pronounce it but at the same time I had also seen a little bit afterwards the roller bottle and I thought oh that would be so cool to have in my pocketbook you know to carry it with me when I'm traveling and all that and I got approved and they sent this to me and I'm telling you because I love this fragrance to begin with and I have had so many compliments on it that I'm absolutely thrilled so this was gifted to me from Lancome via the Octoly Network for my honest review and I think you all know I love this but more importantly Jay loves it and if your husband or your significant other loves the scent you have I think that's a really really good thing so I am thrilled to have received this as I said and I love it and I am still wearing this one so this is just going to compliment this is going in my pocketbook this is I'm going to use when I'm traveling absolutely love it this I love so thank you so much Lancome the other thing I wanted to mention is I had reviewed the Tan Lux. Now, when I requested this, I requested the body and the face drops. The face drops never came in. Uh, I, I was really disappointed because I really wanted the face drops more than the body drops. But for whatever reason, the face drops never came in. I reached out to the brand, I, I don't know, anyways. So I reviewed at a first glance the body drops and, and a number of other people have been reviewing this as well. So what I've done is I've used this mainly on my legs, maybe sometimes on my arms, but mainly on my legs. What I do is if you follow the directions, you'll be okay. If you don't, if you're not careful, I'm not too sure if this is going to pick up, but I want to hopefully, I don't know if you can see the discoloration. It's really um, maybe hard to see but if you don't follow the directions or you have a missup and it spills you're gonna get globs of color like I have going down my arm right here and I didn't catch it it's very oily I didn't notice it but I will tell you if you use this right and that means you put it on and you have a circular you have a washcloth of some sort the damp circular and you do circular all over your legs it just gives you a really nice at least it gives me a really nice golden color um, I love the color actually and I'm getting it without being outside I don't love when I have a mistake but that's totally totally my fault so yeah I would I definitely would continue to use this and I'm really kind of bummed I didn't get the the one for the face and I'm thinking maybe I'll probably try that because that was really what I was looking for was to get that added color to my skin the other thing that was sent to me from a Grandi Cosmetics and I had basically requested this a long time ago and then they sold out and I never got it and I finally they finally restocked and they sent it to me so this is the Grandi Lash Serum this is Grandi Lash MD I haven't tried it yet those of you that know know I've been using a product called Blink on my eyelashes and I love, love using my Blink. I still have a few bottles of Blink to go through. I'm having a lot of success, but so many other women have raved about this. Kristen, 123, Miss Kristen, a number of other people have used this and absolutely loved it. So I really wanted to get my, oh, it almost matches, oh, almost matches. I wanted to get my hands on this. So I got it, it was sent to me free for my honest opinion. And I'm going to think about how I'm going to actually start to use this product 
because right now I'm in the middle of a bottle. But I've also been talking to my sister, and my sister is really curious about this. So if I can get a before and after, maybe she might be the best person to test this out. So anyways, super exciting about this product. The other thing that I got in the mail from Octoly, and this is from Pure, P-U-R, Cosmetics. And this was their On Point eyeliner pencils in their On Point, I shouldn't say On Point, but yeah, it's On Point, eyeliner pencils and eye, liquid eyeliner. I got, they sent me five of these. I love the shades. I absolutely love the shades. So I am wearing the, let me get you the right color here today, uh, on my, on my eyes, I have, and now I must tell you, this is, oh, this is a good six hours of wear time right now, just because. So I put this on my face uh, six hours ago. I did my waterline with it, and then I did an eyeliner along my eye you know, very, very close. So normally I wear stock black. This is that down to earth brown. I'm actually kind of really liking it. But more importantly, I really like the staying power of it. I haven't used the other shades, but it's really cool. This is sort of a Marlene Fab and Glam shade here. So when you twist this off and unscrew it, then you get the, I don't know if you can see that. I'm gonna put this on my hand. You probably can't see that anyways but you get this really fine pointy line and it has a lot of staying power so if you need to sharpen it you twist it one way the point is is soft so I would imagine if you press hard it might break knowing that I went in and I used my first one I had no problem at all putting it on at all. It went on smooth. I didn't press it really hard. It certainly didn't break. And then I put the lid back on, the cover back on, twisted it the other way. So I was like really excited that they sent this to me. Free, no obligation in exchange for my honest review. I'm going to continue to wear it. So far, this is definitely a go for me for the sense of application ease, how it felt when it went on, and so far how long it has lasted on me. This is long lasting, and I think, and I'll leave the description below, I think with all the different shades here, I can, I'm pretty sure I can get some really cool looks and maybe kind of wean myself away from that stark black, although I did get a black liner. So thank you so much, Pure Cosmetics. I'm really, really liking this. So I put this on just a few moments ago, a moment ago, and I'm already, I can't. Now it's it's on, it's dried. I don't know if you can see. Now if I took a wet thing and I rubbed really hard, I'm sure I could get that off. But the important thing is that it stayed on my eyes so far. The other thing I wanted to mention uh, is the Nivea Skin Firming Soothing Concentrate. Now. A lot of you have asked me questions about this, especially lately, because this is a discontinued product. I have no idea why it's discontinued, but it's a discontinued product. And I was using this every night. I never used it. Now I do have bags and I probably should have, but I never really used it on my bags much at all. Maybe every now and then. And every now and then I would think about doing my jowls, a very jowly skin. I'm looking into some face exercises to try to really see if I can tighten some of that up. But I never really did a whole bunch here and here like some other people have done. And I just took a tiny dab of this every every night and I would put it right in this inner corner of my eyelids. I, you know, with, I have just these fat globbers that sit there on my eyelid. And I would put that on there and it did start to make a difference on that. After a while, I also put it on my brow bone. So those are the two places that I put this on, right here and on my brow bone. I now have stopped using it every night and I stopped using it every night because I wasn't seeing any more of a difference in my fat pocket. So I think I might've hit my saturation point, you know, the point of where it's gonna get as good as it's gonna get 
without doing something else. So I dropped down and even all the other ladies that have talked about this, you know, they use it once every now and then. So I am now using this every Sunday night and Sunday nights only. So once a week, I am putting this on. Now, because I use my Olay Pro Retinol, I'm doing that experiment as I talked about in one of my previous videos. I don't use the Olay Pro Retinol. I don't bring it down to that spot where this goes at all. Um, I do the Olay Pro Retinol. When I put it on, I put it on my deep lines here and then I go across here and then I go up here uh, across my brow bone. I did it in the very early phase, go down on my eyelids. I stopped doing that, but I go very, very close. It is a retinol product and um, I think anytime you use something like that on your sensitive skin, especially your eyelids, you've got to be really, really careful. I only had mild flaking and then I backed off when I had that mild flaking. I was using it twice a day. When that happened, I just backed off and started to use it once a day. So um, now I've been using it twice a day. Of course, I'm using the UK version and the US version. And the UK version I am using on the side of my face where I have my, my big veins. And um, so the UK version pretty well gets the left side of my, the left eye and the US version gets my, my right eye. And, you know, and I'm just very, very careful with how I do it. So I do it twice a day. I'm really liking that. But the application of the Olay does not interfere with the application of the Nivea because they're going on two different areas. And this I'm down to one night a week. Yes, it's discontinued. I, I, this is probably going to last me forever. I do have another bottle of this because, you know, I buy backups when I have something I really like. So I do have another bottle of it um, just in case. So that's the scoop on that. The other thing, my hair. <laughs> my hair, my hair, my hair. It's getting kind of long. You like my earrings? These earrings, I think, I think I got these earrings when I was 16. I kind of remember the fair I went to when I bought these. These were in my little vintage box that I found with all my old earrings. I did a video on that a while back. But these are those. They're like really, really old. They're really, they're really cool. I really like them. Or were these the ones I got in Hawaii? Now I have to think about that. But anyways, so to my vintage earrings. <clears throat> so I bought, when I was starting to grow my hair out, many of you know I bought these little fake hairy things. I don't know, whatever you call them. These little fake hair pieces. And I bought them and I bought um, some in Sally's and I bought some in Ulta. And the color I have is like a, um, a mocha frost, almond frost or whatever color it is. And it kind of matches my hair pretty good. So uh, when I bought these, I wasn't too sure how that long they were going to last or anything of that nature. And so this, I think, I think each of these are like three or four or longer months old. Now I've been combing them out a little bit and so you can get a little bit of a frizzle at the bottom. But the way I do it is I just clip my own hair back and then I stick this on it or I stick this clip in it and then clip my hair, you know, back so that it just kind of looks like my own hair pulled up into this clip. And, um, and you know, my hair is, is long enough, and I say that kind of like funny because it really isn't long yet, but it is long enough for me to get it up off my neck and clip it back on its own. But when I add one of those little fake bun things, it just gives me a little bit more, um, you know, more, more volume, I guess. It makes my hair, I think, look better when I have the little fake piece on it. So I, the surprising thing is, I think these were like, when I bought one of these, I bought, and they came in a pack of two. I think it was this one. I still have the second one. I've never even used it. They came in a pack, pack of two at Ulta for like 20 bucks, 19 something. You had two of these. They were just these little rubber you know, ponytail type things. So you can easily just wrap them around your own, you know, own hair to create a bun if you have it up there or clip it. So I did buy, I did buy two and I bought the more curlier ones at Sally's and I wasn't too sure how long these were going to last. I thought, you know, uh, you know, well, maybe, maybe they wouldn't last long at all. You know, I mean, it's not real hair. It's not really high quality. You're paying 20 bucks. In fact, I think the ones at Sally's, they paid like 10 bucks, nine something each at that point in time. So, I mean, really, 
how how long would these last? And I figured, well, if they didn't last long, I didn't care. I'd have fun with them. And I have had, I have had a ton, a ton of fun with them. So I love wrapping my hair up in these little buns. And I'm like, yeah, my hair is long enough to do a lot more with it. Now I can even, if some of you might remember that long ponytail I bought, I can even wear that. And that I think I'm going to wear under a baseball hat when we go to Canada. So Anyways, I just wanted to give you that kind of update. I, I definitely want to tell you, Pure Cosmetics, I am so, so loving these eye pencils. And I'm absolutely thrilled that they sent this to me via the Octoly Network. I will let you know how it goes, how it lasts as I go through using them um, more often. But um, yeah, it is really good. Grandy Lash sent me this. But oh, my perfume rollerball. I love it. I love it. So anyways, guys, that's it. I just wanted to give you that quick update. And I, yeah, I'm back in my office right now. I, I don't know why. I hadn't really planned on doing this video, I guess. And, you know, I figured, well, you know, my camera was in here. My tripod was in here. It didn't look too messy behind me. <laughs> too messy behind me. Actually, it does look pretty messy behind me. But um, I figured, why not? You probably get sick and tired of looking at the my bathroom window when the season's behind me. Maybe, maybe not. So anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Oh. Have no fear. Nothing broke. <laughs> Bye, guys. Thanks so much. Hey, oh, and if you are new to my channel, please, please subscribe. Leave me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. I truly, truly appreciate it. Bye, guys.